If you've got clients on the Squarespace platform, then you are in the right place because I'm going to show you how to take those websites to the next level by leveraging Squarespace's built-in features as well as some third-party plugins and extensions. Now, what are our clients' objectives? Ultimately, they want to get more people in the door. They want more traffic. They want to sell more stuff and they want their, their customers to come back. So what we want to do is we want to empower them to be able to do so. And there are a few things that I'm going to highlight in this video that is going to enable us to do so. And this is going to help us answer those common questions of how do I get more traffic? Why am I not getting sales? How can I improve my store? Now, who am I to be sharing this with you? Well, my name is Omari Harbin. I'm a marketing strategist and founder at squarespacethemes.com, which is a resource for designers and e-commerce businesses to get more out of Squarespace. Now, our first, first thing that we want to do is we want to prepare for traffic. Prepare for traffic. A lot of people just want to get traffic. But unless you have analytics in place, then you're not going to know where your customers are coming from, what actions they're taking on your site, and you're not going to be able to track conversions and measure goals. So for conversion tracking and, and, and analytics, Google Analytics, um, I haven't really ever used any other analytic tool, um, but this one gets the job done, um, as well as Google Search Console. Uh, so with Google Analytics, you want to make sure that the enhanced commerce feature is turned on. And if you go to your e-commerce settings in Google Analytics, you'll find that button. Um, and I forget all of the specifics about what's going on with uh, Google Analytics 4 at the moment. But uh, you might want to get ahead by enabling that on your site. And uh, there's a special tag for that, at least the last time I checked. So don't quote me on that. Um, and then Google Search Console, you will always be able to connect that by going to your analytics dashboard within Squarespace and going to search keywords and then connect into your Google Search Console. Now, you want to get more traffic. Here's some considerations for different traffic channels, meaning here's what we want to focus on to get more organic traffic. I'm going to share some things to focus on to get more referral traffic and so on. So as far as organic goes, if you don't already have a content and SEO strategy, that is what is holding you up from getting the maximum organic traffic. Uh, and, and, and so to develop that strategy, we want to know what are potential customers searching for? Um, we want to think about how do we make this website a destination? Um, how do we turn this website into just somewhere where people can transact and how do we turn it into a resource so that it's solving problems? It's a place where people want to come back to. And it's also a place that people want to send other people to, All right, Which leads us to referral traffic. Uh, how do we get more referral traffic? Well, the best way, in my opinion, is to incentivize that referral traffic by starting an affiliate program. Now, uh, these are some of the best ways to start an affiliate program with Squarespace. Uh, Peaches, I'll put some links below so that you can check these out. Peaches, Tap Affiliate, uh, Referral Candy is better for referrals. So like if you want to say, um, if you want to allow your customers to refer other customers and get a discount or, or, or get a deal or something, referral candy is great for that. Uh, social traffic. Now, uh, here's something to consider to maximize your social traffic is to pixelate your site. So Facebook pixel, Pinterest pixel, wherever you might want to advertise in the future, what adding the, the pixel is going to allow you to do is to retarget people who've already visited your site who are still scrolling around on these other social platforms. Uh, there's a couple social media extensions. I don't recommend this first one again anymore, um, but I know that Squarespace is making a lot of improvements to um, like the Google product feed, um, Instagram product feeds, all of those product feeds. Uh, turn those things on if you can. Um, yeah, open up more channels with product feeds. So here's a couple extensions that that make this whole process easier. Um, I, I know Squarefeed is good for getting your product feed into Google. 
But you want to check these things out for yourself. Don't quote me on these because I haven't done this in a while. All right, how to boost sales. So this is some food for thought, right? Uh, how do we establish more trust and credibility? If people don't, aren't buying, it's either because they don't trust or, or think we're credible enough. Um, how do we remove uncertainty, right? So if people aren't buying, it's because they're not sure about something. Um, how do we make it easy if people aren't buying? Maybe there's way too many steps they're having to take. Um, you know, how do we increase urgency if people aren't buying? Maybe we're not putting, we're not, we're not giving them enough of a reason to do it now. So, uh, this is like a mental exercise. That's why it's called food for thought and, um, uh, focusing on, um, our homepage, uh, our product page and our checkout page, we can, uh, we can address some of these, these things. So on the homepage, uh, Making use of the built-in announcement bar, the promo pop-up, uh, sales notifications. These things help to improve conversions because you're, commu you're, you're, you're adding different communication touch points and you're able to make different offers and signal that other people are taking you up on these offers using just these three uh, plugins right here. On the product page, um, you know, turning on a wait list. Uh, so if you, if, if product is sold out and you've got the waitlist feature turned on, then folks can know when the product comes back on. Um, I, I use this with my wife. Sometimes she'll put my email address in for uh, certain sites that have like a, a wait list. And then I'll get a notification when something is back on stock in stock. And it's like, Oh, that's what she wants. Um, related products, uh, you know, turning that on as well. Um, there's some, some plugins and apps that, uh, I'll link to another video where I go into a little bit more detail on some of these plugins, but you can check out, check, check these out at squarespacethemes.com. Um, Afterpay, I remember once upon a time you couldn't turn on Afterpay with Squarespace, but now you can, um, in your checkout page, customize it. Don't leave the, the default thing. Like make sure you, 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 you match your branding on your, your checkout page. Turn on the abandoned cart feature if you've got uh, the advanced commerce plan. Um, and if you want to be able to utilize upsells, and I definitely recommend checking out our Lightbox Anything plugin. Automate tax calculations with TaxJar. Now, I'm no tax expert, um, but if that's something that you want to do, check out TaxJar to be able to do it. Now, finally, you want to bring customers back to your store and the best ways to do that after checkout are by leveraging customer notifications um capturing obviously you capture their email um that's how they get their receipt and so on but following up following up um making use of things like after ship uh so that they have like a, a dashboard to be able to track their order if it, you know where it is order tracking um Surveying, soliciting reviews, this is going to allow you to attract more customers, new customers, um, uh, leveraging things like easy texting, which is an extension that you can connect to your site to be able to text your customers, as well as email campaigns, which is built into Squarespace. Um, now, everything I mentioned was essentially just a long list of bullet points, um, but if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, and feel free to check out the site for any of the resources that I, that I mentioned. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.